Good morning. A Saturday morning. I just looked out my window and I noticed the moon setting far to the west. It's sitting behind a bunch of clouds right now. It comes and it goes through the clouds, which makes for a spectacular view. And as I've mentioned many times before, when I wake, I usually come up with a, a word hits me. And this morning, uh, it seems like that's not the case. And yet there's things I would, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to share. So maybe it's just too early. I wrote that down as the word or the word it's early. You know, that's sometimes that's that's like this journey we're on. Sometimes some of us it's just too early for everything to be what it's supposed to be. Maybe it's just the beginning of the journey. And so by being too early, Maybe that's just where we, are, where we are on this journey. It's just the beginning. You know, last or, or yesterday I had... I, I, I'm starting to create things, physical things, and they're, they are a great form of healing and releasing of energy that I need to let go of. I also am finding a need to write more than I have written ever. And, f and I, I'm finding what I see through my mind's eye as I take photos. It's like I'm, I, it, it's just awesome for me right now because it's like I normally would not have seen what I see now. I normally would not have, I would not be feeling what I'm feeling now. I would not create what I'm creating now. But where I am now on this journey, and there are others like me right now, like that are you, on this journey, you're finding you. And the more you open up, the more comes your way. I am almost to a point now where I've, I've got my fingers in so many different things. I am questioning my own self, and this is my ego saying, you, you're spreading yourself thin and you're really focusing on nothing in particular. You're just doing a little of everything. But I'm finding this love for each. And it's the creativity inside of us that wants out. The creativity is something that helps us in our healing process. And we all are in need of healing. There are always things in us that need repair. And it's a process, as I've mentioned, that is almost a lifetime process. And for some, it's early. But if you're watching things like this or listening to things like uh, these, these, this vlog and others out there, it's because you're curious and you're looking for another way, another idea, an explanation, which says you're open. For me, I share my journey and it's in hopes that someone might hear, someone, it might resonate with somebody, it might help. Because that's why I feel like I'm here. I've gone down this journey that I've been on, and I'm continuing on this journey. But it's not just to have been tested and gone through the fire. It's to have gone through the fire and come out on the other end and say, <laughs> I did it. You can do it. Come on now. And that's why we go through things. Because we, if those who do and come through are warriors. And that's what I see now.
I see more warriors out here than anything. Spiritual warriors. Warriors who, can, who have gone through the fire and come out and they haven't fallen. They still see the good. They still see the beauty. They still have the hunger to help and heal others. They still have that desire. And there are some still yet who struggle with believing that they are a part of that. Believing that they have time for that. Because it's a difficult thing to give up on some and on a lot of the things that we have learned. I mentioned this also many times. This where you become on this journey, it becomes almost an unlearning process where we have to unlearn much that we have learned through this life in order to be where we have always been intended to be. And that's to be open to what's coming to you, what's available to you, who you truly are. And the only way to reach that is to open your heart. You can be in your mind all day long and things will only come to you as what you can see through your eyes. And you close your eyes with an open heart and much more. You have much more, uh, you have more ex accessibility to what the universe and God has in store for you. You will be able to see beyond what your physical eyes can see. And here's where everything's at. Here's when doors open. Here's where your creativity comes out. And things begin to happen in ways which leave you or has left me breathless. To where I'm sitting there with, with like, whoa, how did this happen? But this is the journey. For some, it's early. It's still early with me, but I know I'm, I'm, I'm not at the beginning gate anymore. I'm down the road. I've surrendered, I've opened, I've let go. There's a word that kept popping in my head last night, expectations. I don't know why that word just, I, I don't. For some reason, it's like I don't really care for the word expectations. I believe that we all need to set boundaries around ourselves, healthy boundaries. And we all need to be open. And we all need to be now. We all need to be in the present. And there, here's the rub. Here's the thing. When it is right, nothing stops it. Because the universe is going to make things happen in not your timing, maybe, but it will be in divine timing, which means it's the perfect timing. So stay true to you. I did a, the other day, knowing. That knowing is something that comes from within you, and you already know. I mentioned this last night. I know. And sometimes I know I've said this, and it almost becomes a challenge for another person or anyone that I say this to as if, oh, you know, how dare you? you? You can't know, but I know with inside me and I trust what I feel. Now, things can be altered because everybody has free will. So they have a choice. If this is concerning another soul, <laughs> they have a choice to change everything. And this kind of goes hand in hand with energy healing and, and being able to be read. You can be told what's coming. You can have energy that comes through your body and heals you. But if you're not open to receive it and keep it, it will go. Or you won't receive it. It's all about being open. 
So is it too early? I don't think so for you. I believe you're on this journey, and this journey is leading you in ways in which it leaves you with questions, more questions. It, it, it almost becomes a point where you become hungry for more. And that's the journey. The more is not a material thing. It's seeking information, seeking guidance, seeking the way. That hunger. Yeah, I see that right now in you. You know you have things ahead of you to reach for. The doors are opening right before you. Close your eyes. What do you see? <laughs> yes, I feel that too. There's something big about to happen for you. And now my eyes are watering. See, this is what I know. I've spent a couple weeks now a month almost, where emotions wash through me. And as again, I'm going to say this, I'm an empath, so I feel others' energy. And there's certain ones in particular that stand out and are stronger because I've connected with them one-on-one. -on -one. And there are certain energies that wash through me, and I'm now to a point where I can, I, I can distinguish whose energy It's not too early for you. You're in the game. Start trusting yourself. Start believing in yourself. Today's the day. The full moon sets tonight. Set some intentions as to what it is you want, where it is you want to be. Write them down. Take a moment today. Find a place in nature where you can go and commune. Commune in the sense that you can just sit and just say nothing. Sit, close your eyes, and go. Let go of things that are holding you back. Let go of things and start forgiving. Forgive others and forgive yourself. Today's your day. It's not too early. So if any of this resonates with you, you can find me on uh, Facebook, Nicholas Gallardo. Twin Flame Journey also on Facebook. I'm on that journey. It's got me to where I am right now. I'm uh, about to do some things with that uh, venue, the Twin Flame. I got some talks coming up. Uh, let's see here. We got Instagram, The Power of Love Heals. I post photos. I put some of my thoughts down. I share some of my art that I'm creating, some of the pieces that I'm working on. You can find me on uh, YouTube, uh, Power of Love Heals, where I, I do this. I do some readings. I, I also am I'm also available in person here in Benicia to do readings one-on-one. -on -one. I do energy healings one-on-one. -on -one. I also can do these remotely, so you can find me on my webpage, uh, powerofloveheals.com. I'm out there. I'm here. So if this resonates, let me know. Like and subscribe on YouTube. I'm trying to build a community. Be well. Be love. Always. Until next time, stay awesome.